Hey, what is going on guys? It is great to see you back here on the channel. Thanks for stopping in. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to blur somebody's face in DaVinci Resolve. And this is kind of playing off of my last video, which if you haven't seen it, click up here, go check it out. It is about how to disguise your voice in DaVinci Resolve. I figure if you're disguising their voice, maybe you need to disguise their face or hide their face as well. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So let's jump into the video. All right, so like I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about how to blur somebody's face out in DaVinci Resolve, and there's a few different ways that we can do that. So I'm gonna show you two, what? What's what up, man? Going? What are you doing here? I'm here to be in the video. Well, who wanted you to be in the video? I invited myself, I wanted to be in your video. Can you blur my face though? All right, yeah, I can blur your face out, sure, sure. If you could do that okay. voice thing too, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we'll see about doing the voice thing, this guy. Anyway, let's get into DaVinci Resolve, and I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can blur out somebody's face. Oh, I gotta see this. We're in DaVinci Resolve here, and I've already got two clips in my timeline, and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to blur somebody's face out. In the first clip here, we're just gonna blur a face that's not moving. So we're gonna put a blur in one spot, and it's gonna stay there in the video. And in the second clip, I'm gonna show you how you can have the blur track with your subject, so that way it moves around wherever your subject might move. So my first clip here is uh, one that you saw in the beginning of the video here. I'm gonna show you how to blur out this guy's face right here. So we wanna have our clip selected and we wanna jump over into the color tab. In the color tab, I'm gonna zoom out a little here. And first I wanna create a new node. So I'm gonna come over in my node area here. If you don't see your nodes, click on the nodes button at the top and I'm gonna option S is gonna give me a new node. And this is where I'm gonna put my blur. So I'm gonna come down and come to my power windows, which is this little guy right here and I wanna put on a circle. And I'm gonna put the circle right over top of the area I want to blur. So I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit. Bring out the border a little. So there's a few different ways we can add the blur to your video here. So we've got our power window and one way is to come over to the blur menu here. Make sure you're on blur right there and you can come to the radius and you can boost it up. And that's gonna blur it. Now you may need to come back and adjust your power window a little. Maybe I wanna close that down, make the window a little bit bigger. Come back to blur. You can blur it some more. And then you get a good blur on your image. So that's one way to do it. Another way, let's just reset the blur here. Another way that you can do it is uh, we've got our power window and on top of this node, we wanna open our open effects and we wanna come down and do, let's say, a mosaic blur and I'm gonna drop that onto this node right here. Now it gives me that little pixely look and I'm sure we've all seen that look on faces before. So we can increase the pixel frequency and change the smooth strength. If you want it just smooth, you can do that or you can back it down, just double click on it to reset it. And then you've also got the ability to blend it in if you want. So I kind of like that, that looks pretty good, but you can add any one of these blurs that you want. And we'll just play through the video and see how it looks. We may need to adjust the area of the power window a little bit because the head moves around a little bit here and it's not tracking with anything, but this is one way that you can do it. So let's play the video and see how that looks. Yo, how'd you do that? Yo man, what are you doing? Would you back up a little bit? Give me some oh, space well, here I to work. I just wanna know what you're doing. I'm trying to show these guys how to, to do this out. here and you know, getting in my grill. Just why don't you go take a seat over there or something, all right? Okay, and that kind of gets the job done there. So if somebody's head's not moving around too much and you wanna blur their face, you can just put a power window in one spot and leave it there and it should be okay. But let's say that somebody is moving around. So jumping back into the edit tab, here I've got another clip where I'm walking up to the camera and then walking back from the camera and I wanna have my face blurred in this one, but I'm moving around. So we're gonna need to have the blur track with my face. So I'm gonna select my clip. I'm gonna come back over into the color tab I'm gonna close my open effects for now. I'm gonna create a new node with option or alt S, select my new node. I wanna create a new power window on this node. So I'm gonna come down to the window icon here, I'll make another circle power window. And I wanna make sure I'm right at the beginning of my clip. And I'm gonna put this right on top of my face. Gonna reduce the size of the power window. And now we need to track the clip. We want the power window to track with my face. So in order to do that, we wanna to come to the tracker icon right here, 
select that. Make sure you have clip selected. And then you just want to come over and click the play button. And then it's going to track my face as I move forward and the power window is going to follow it the best that it can. So let's hit play track forward and we'll see how it makes out. Okay, so that tracked my face pretty good. So let's just try throwing a blur on top of that and see what happens. So again, I'm gonna come back to my open effects, open that up. I'm gonna use my mosaic blur and I'm gonna just drop that on my node where I created my power window. So now we can see here, it looks way too uh, big as far as the pixels. So I'm gonna bring that down to something I think looks reasonable. And now I'm just gonna play through the clip and see how that looks. So I noticed as I get closer, it's not quite pixelated enough. I can see myself and let's say that's not good. So I may just wanna decrease the size here until I get the desired effect. And let's continue playing it and see how it looks. So you probably noticed that as I'm moving, the power window doesn't quite track with my face just perfectly. It's kind of off to the side a little bit. So how would I make an adjustment to make it right on top of my face? So first I think I wanna reduce this fade a little bit on the outside there, the feathering. And then I'm just gonna grab this and scoot it over a little bit and then that should be all right. Let's play the video. So I can see it's a little off still. I'm just gonna move it over a little bit slightly and play the video. And we can see now it tracks with the center of my face because it's already got all the tracking points and information. So when I make a little adjustment to my power window, it still follows my face as I walk through the frame. And let's say maybe you needed to adjust the blur as I got closer. So back here, it's okay. But let's say I get to here and, you know, I want the pixels to be different. I want it to be a lot more than it currently is because, you know, I can see myself and I don't want to do that. I want to be able to just have a blurred image like that. So I wanna go back to the beginning of my clip and what I wanna do is add some keyframes so I can change the pixel frequency as I get closer to the camera. So beginning of your clip, come up to pixel frequency, click your keyframe, and then we're gonna move ahead to the next spot where I wanna make an adjustment. So let's say come up to about here and I wanna add in a little bit more pixels. So I'm gonna grab this and Let's actually reduce it so it's harder to tell who the person is. And then I'm just going to move forward in the clip a little bit. And as I move back and bring the pixel frequency back up. And you can see down here in your keyframe editor. And if you don't see your keyframe editor, click this little button right here. You can see it added in the keyframes for us. So now if we play through the video again, you see as I get closer to the camera, it gets more pixelated so we can't tell exactly who it is. And you can always go through and play with the other settings here and keyframe them as well if you want to make any of those adjustments. Jump back into the edit tab here just to see the final video. And there we go. Blurred out the face of somebody moving. All right, guys, there you go. Blurring out faces here in DaVinci Resolve. It's not too hard, so I think you can do it. You got this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click the little bell button so you get notified when I release a new video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks, guys. See ya. Peace.